Hey game devs, let's get back to it. Um, we're gonna make the uh, the rest of this, or not the rest, but some of the center points of the um, chandelier here. I'm looking at the picture. So what I'm thinking is going on is these actually come all the way down to here, which is this smaller center one, and then this center one has these spokes that kind of come out. And I think this one's weird looking, but I think it's just a spoke from the center. Um, and then they also have these connections on the bottom and those spokes go to the outer ring and then lock everything together. So if that's not the way it is, then I've misread it, but that's the way we're doing it. Yeah, this is confusing sometimes, but we're going to do it that way and see how it looks. Okay, so we're going to make the center one first and then we'll make the outer one. And then we're going to connect this like a, a, a spoke. Actually, first what we'll do is we'll um, figure out how many of these we have. We should have six, and we'll make sure that fits perfectly with the array. And then um, we'll go from there, and then we'll start going back up. I want to get this in first so we have a center line to work from. So, Okay, so back to this. Um, it looks like we have one, but we're going to go ahead and pretend that's not the one we're going to need or want or any of that stuff. So. Um, what we're going to do is come to the top again and we're going to say circle, we're going to actually use an, a, a line this time, or I'm sorry, a circle this time, and I think, you know, that doesn't bother me where it is, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. Um, I'll just drag it up for now. Okay. Now the question is, is it going to be that thick or not that thick? That does look a little thick to me too. I'm sure it does to you. Um, so we're gonna come back into here and we're gonna change this to five. That's not bad. Um, yeah, let's do four. Okay, so we're gonna do four. Um, So this is the piece that this attaches to, and then it just has outer spokes. Okay, so yeah, let's do the outer stuff. I'm gonna move this to the <laughs> mist. I'm gonna move this to the top up here. Okay, so I'm gonna do the outer spoke now, and you know I could just top Z and then move it a little bit, or actually top and then Control V, make sure it's a copy and not an instance, and then. Um, we can come down here to the radius and change the radius so it matches the same. And then we can add a couple more subdivisions if we want. Uh, I think the interpolation. 15 is too much. Let's just do like 8. Just a little bit more. Okay, so one of the things that I did do is I tried to keep it kind of, you know, um, flat on the bottom and flat on the top. So we've got this nice angular piece of steel like it's a steel working thing so that's that I'm actually gonna see about this let me freeze this this guy being the size it needs to be for out here because that would be awesome so I'm gonna go to the top Z and then I'm gonna control V again to copy that's just the copy way of doing it and you say that I probably should name it outer um, Candle holder. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to move this so it's centered on this edge. The key thing I need to look at is I want this edge to be um, these edges to end because I'm going to delete the interior if you remember. But first I want to just make it. Um, and I think I'm gonna make this just a bit thicker too. So thickness is four, we'll try 4.5, just a little bit. Yeah, just to make it feel like it's holding it better. Okay, so um, now we're gonna use that tool that we talked about before. Uh, we're gonna grab this guy, but before we can make an array, because what an array will do is it'll spin it around itself, and this has six of them, so that looks right. I'm hoping this being a little bigger, they'll get closer together, and if not, then we may have to um, do some dancing with it. But um, let me close this. I'm not even collapsing them now until I get to the final size. I know the size is what I want, so you know. 
So, but before I can make this array work, if I'm going to make it go around this object, I've got to make it centered here because if you think about it like a like a piece of pie, it's just going to pivot around the center and go to here. So we come back to our effect pivot point, and then we can either do the quick one onto like this guy and check it, and it looks pretty good. Yeah or you could just move it by hand. But this way we know it's it's centered on this and since this was built off, they're all the same. So I have that and then I come over to the tools and I say, and there's probably in here too, just like all the other ones I, I don't use or I haven't played with enough yet, I should say. I do use them, but I don't play enough with them. And I come up to my array and the first thing you wanna do is put on preview, just so you can see what's happening. Um, you have this selected. Um, and then you can't really do much of anything until you start moving stuff around. So I have 10, I want six. And if we divide six by 360, if you don't know what that is, it's a pretty straight, but I'll do it anyway. Six divided by 360, oh, I'm sorry, 360 divided by six, I'm just thinking grades, right? So 60, it means every 60 degrees, there should be another version. So if I take this and I say 60, I now have them around the outside. So you see what I mean about them being not the right size? It looks like I need them to be a little bit bigger or this to be a little bit smaller and them closer in. I don't know if I want them any closer than that. And I really don't want them any bigger either. Um, you know what? I'm thinking, screw it. We'll just do the connections from here and here. Um, so when that happens, um, what I'm saying is I'm going to do this edge to this edge, which means I might need to divide this a little bit more. Um, what we're looking for is a way to connect these two pieces like they are um, together, you know, or even cut it in a quarter and do one and then kind of two. Um, Let's try shrinking it just a bit. Shrink both of them. So right now, this is 91. It's great that I did such a random number, 90. Still not enough. Let's do 85. OK. This needs to be smaller, too. This needs to be, instead of 39, again, a great number. Let's do 45. Oh, sorry. I went the wrong way. I can actually use numbers. Um, 39 will go down to 35. And then move it closer because we need to have it, you know, kind of cutting across that part. And then we need to reset the pivot again because we don't want to pivot that way. It'll just be outside and we'll have it out further. And actually, I think that's still too. I don't know if this is going to make a difference. Maybe I should leave it back at 40. Let's try 35, I don't care if it, it doesn't work, we can come back. Okay, so effect pivot point, um, and then do the lightning bolts, grab this, make sure to grab that and not the, yeah, we're good. Go back to array, and do, still 60, because it's still 30, and instead of 10, it's, I mean, still six. So instead of 10, we say preview, yeah, because I made them both smaller, of course, it's that's what's going to happen. You know, my big fear. Um, yeah. You know what? Cancel. Let's do this and that. But let's make them nice numbers because my brain's itching. Uh, let's say 90. And 40, okay, and we'll come back to tools, say array, 60, preview, oops, wrong 60. Depends on which way you go, obviously. If I go Y, it's going to be 60 on that axis. If I go Z, 60 the axis we changed it's going to be 60 on this axis and we don't want 10 we want 6 okay 
so now we got it. Um, we'll live with what we have anyway. Now, there's two ways we could handle this, is I could keep what I have here, or I could just delete the edges I don't want, which is what I'm gonna do. I just wanted to get it set up first. Okay, so I'm gonna take this now and collapse it down to Edible Poly, and then I'm gonna take this face tool and grab these faces and delete them. Then I'm gonna undo, I mean, deselect, and I'm gonna do the same exact thing with the array, and it should be set to where it was before, because I said okay. And there you go. So now we have our thing. Um, so now we have parameters for how high it is, how wide it is. And that's a great place to stop. So um, we'll come back and start looking at the candles on the outside. And then we'll do the final is the edge stuff here.